Hi, uh, my name is Mustafa Rizvi. I am the founder of Kashmir Art Quest and Gallery One in Srinagar. Uh, of the lot of things that we have been trying to do in Kashmir, I think one of our primary focuses is to try and create a situation in Kashmir where an international art scene might exist. And uh, that is why I joined the Srinagar Biennale 2017, uh, which is a sort of an ambitious project, but we are really positive in trying to bring together artists and institutions from around the world and uh, you know work here with artists in Kashmir in collaboration. I think uh, the Srinagar Biennale brings with itself new possibilities, new challenges, not just because of the kind of place and situation in Srinagar but at the same time because of the whole format of the Biennale which is completely new, bold and challenging. Hi, my name is Shaukat. Uh, I'm from Kashmir, uh, from Srinagar, uh, the capital of Kashmir. So I work here as an art teacher in Faculty of Fine Arts. Uh, I've been working in the faculty for the last seven years. I've been a student as well from the same faculty, so I teach now there. My personal engagement has mostly been with the students. Uh, and uh, in the coming uh, year, we're looking towards the Srinagar Binali, the uh, program we're trying to sort of uh, create here. In that program, we're looking uh, largely at to create a very rhizomatic character uh, into this uh, event, where we'll have multiple kind of a nodal points in the program, and each nodal point will be functioning independently, without any kind of a censorship. Uh, at the same time, trying to connect them to each other through many means, social media, uh, internet, and uh, also looking forward to create a uh, physical uh, you know uh, connections between these nodal points so that people will be uh, free to uh, walk in and out from these different uh, points of references okay. and Shagot, I wonder if you could tell me a little bit about the city and what this means for it and yeah it's uh, quite an interesting place uh, given uh, the kind of uh, geopolitical location we are in. Not only that, and uh, this place is also uh, very important uh, uh, as a cultural hub, has been like so uh, for the Central Asia, towards down to the South India. This place has always uh, given a lot and added a lot to the uh, cultural capital of the human civilization itself. But over the period of time, it has been uh, very unfortunate this place has been a bit. Uh, isolated from the mainstream discourse uh, nevertheless but uh, this place is still uh, sort of very pregnant with people and thoughts and ideas uh, all that is there is to share all that experience and uh, as a Srinagar itself as an entity it has a lot to give back and a uh, lot to take from other people that's why this binali becomes very uh, you know, important mm. in that respect, so that uh, it can again become the transit point to some extent uh, for sharing the experiences from all over the world, as well as giving our own uh, experiences uh, uh, to the you know, process of art making yeah. all over the world. And uh, Srinagar, as everybody knows, uh, like has been a bit uh, going rough over the period of time. Uh, but it has never lost uh, its impulse uh, to throw surprises on um, creative level, on intellectual level, and it and uh, there's always a need to expose that kind of a city, mm. which is famous uh, for many other reasons. <laughs> you know, it has become uh, due to its ongoing political crisis and many other things. Mm. Uh, and the need arises now to explore Srinagar more uh, and to be interacted more with the uh, rest of the world. And I am sure uh, Srinagar is going to be very important and very interesting for people who will come here and uh, have the experience mm. uh, uh, and to learn and to share their own experiences as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So I was wondering one of the interesting things about the city and the difficulties artists have in finding spaces, whether it's simply studio spaces, but especially exhibition spaces. And I wondered if you might be able to say a little bit about the kinds of spaces you're trying to use. Uh, so as uh, Shaukat said, Srinagar city has its own kind of distinct history. It's, it has its own character. 
and uh, with the Srinagar Biennale, we would uh, we are we are trying to look at locations which would also be reflective of the kind of situation, uh, you know, whether it's uh, the political, the social, the geographic, uh, or the economic uh, mm -hmm. situation in Kashmir, and the kind of challenges that artists have to deal with. Uh, so we are obviously looking at uh, certain spaces which are, uh, you know, in the hills, in the mountains, with certain, uh, you know, that uh, kind of a, uh, with an idea that Kashmir is the paradise on earth, that kind of a location. But at the same time, uh, certain spaces which were once m mega factories, but then during the conflict got run down, got burned down, but are now trying to recover mm. uh, and uh, are doing actually good. Uh, the businesses also here have a certain distinct character, the way they function. There are a lot of uh, different public spaces, there are a, a lot of abandoned homes. Uh, so these are the kind of spaces uh, that we are trying to look into where artists can come and engage with. Nice. Yeah. And uh, maybe just to conclude a little bit, what uh, are the, and it's an open question to both of you, but what are the difficulties that you guys are facing here in establishing this Biennale, obviously it's the first? Uh, so Biennale, uh, as the word itself, has very strong connotations in terms of its scale and the kind of, you know, uh, it, it's a mega project. Mm. And uh, Srinagar is a very sort of this remote city. It's disconnected in many ways uh, than one uh, from the outside world. So obviously there are the challenges in terms of uh, funding, in terms of uh, sort of travel advisories for the artists who would mm. want to come here. Uh, there are challenges in terms of sort of managing the logistics as you were also saying that even basic studio spaces or art materials mm -hmm. are not readily available. So I think uh, what uh, Srinagar Biennale will also do is uh, with the challenges that comes with it are uh, to sort of explore these new dimensions yeah. you know, that the challenges uh, bring with, with them. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And there is also like uh, which I personally think that Srinagar is going to throw a lot of surprises for the people who will come Definitely. and mm. uh, try to inhabit this uh, space for any given time, like or for any given period of time. Rather, mm -hmm. if they want to engage here, like uh, with the local artists, artisans, uh, poets, singers, uh, prose writers, like uh, there has been a lot of upsurge into that trend uh, due to certain kind of conditions which we are aware of. Uh, I'm very hopeful that like uh, when we're looking at the crisis that uh, many other places from Europe to America are going through, I'm sure somehow, I don't know uh, why does this hope come in me, like Kashmir has some vital answers to that, those kind of a crisis uh, because we are dealing with certain kind of a questions of, uh, uh, you know, identities, uh, cultures, geopolitical locations of people, mm -hmm. uh, their cal cultural histories, you know, we have been uh, dealing with these, uh, some of these questions uh, very intensely here mm. and, and very surprising is the youth, like the, uh, mostly the youth, like uh, you can see the Mujtaba and the other guys like, you know, you met here, they like to engage with these kind of questions uh, from very experiential, uh, you know, yeah, experience yeah. I have say. Uh, they, they have been engaging with this question from last 20, 30 years uh, very intensely. And uh, I think there are very quite uh, nice perspectives into that, yeah. uh, which need to be exposed to the rest of the world. And as far as artists are concerned, as he said, there are many other kind of you know uh, possibilities. Uh, at the same time, on the intellectual life, uh, you know, in, in, on the intellectual front, it's also going to give uh, a lot of answers and you know raise more questions at the same time, mm. which I feel is very much uh, necessary to engage in any kind of a situation. Yeah. Not only the answers, but the questions which arise out of this space, which is so much contested yeah. throughout the history, throughout the collective subconscious of people here. Fantastic. So that's going to be very interesting to show, you know to, to be listened. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it. Fantastic. Thank you very much.